the funniest thing happened to me. I was talking to a man the other night. He's the same guy that gave me a fur coat five winters ago. And the gown he gave me the following fall. Then he gave me the braces, the bag. He gave it to me in pieces, the hat, the shoes. That was late 58, I recall. Then last night in his apartment, oh, yes, I was there. He tried to remove them all. And I said as I ran, well, I didn't run exactly, but nobody was chasing me. I just walked fast down the hall. You know what I said to this man? I said, you, take back your mink. Take back your pearl. What made you think that I was one of those girls? I'm screaming, take back the gown, gloves and a hat. I may be down, honey, but I'm not flat as all that. I thought that each expensive gift you'd arrange was a token of your esteem. And when I think of what you want in exchange, oh, it's a horrible dream. So take back that mink. Oh, those old worn-out pelts and gold. Shut the sleeves for somebody else. That each expensive gift you arrange was a token of your esteem. Now I got an idea what you want, you rascal. Oh, what a horrible dream. Well, take back that mink to from whence it came and tell them to hollanderize it for some other dame, brother. Take back your mink, boy. Take back your pearls, boy. I was furious. Take back the gloves and your hat Cause I'm not like that And that is that Oh, rascal, the whole thing wasn't no good No, I old worn out mink I'm a chinchilla chick myself <laughs> <laughs>